Hello guys and girls, today we will install CentOS on our VirtualBox virtual machine. So let's start. Go to centos.org, click on download, choose 7, choose x86-64 ISO. Now we should choose one of those mirror links, for example this one. And then we shall choose everything. Either torrent or ISO, whatever suits you more. I already downloaded this link, so I will skip this part, but you should wait a while until it downloads. Okay, let's go then on to the next step. Open our virtual box, click on new. Now we should give it a name. Send OS. As we can see, it automatically detected the type and version. This is the location. Next. Now the memory, the RAM memory. Well, I will go with two gigabytes, but I wouldn't recommend you going under one gigabyte because it can really have a poor performance. All right, next. Now to create a virtual hard disk, create. And now in case, as it's written here, if we don't need to use it with other virtualization software, we can leave these settings unchanged, which we will do in this case. Now we can choose dynamically allocated or fixed size. I would say dynamically allocated would be better. It will leave uh, more space for our, for our host machine eventually, because the files will grow as our virtual machine grows and it will be more space for host machine. So next. Uh, okay, the upper limit. Well, let's set up like 25 gigabytes. I think that will be enough. I won't go under that. Create. Very good. Now we can start. Now we need to locate where, we, where you downloaded your .iso file. So we click on add. Downloads, CentOS, everything, and here we go, open, choose, start. Uh, now we should navigate with your keyboard with arrow keys, of course, to install CentOS. Click enter. All right. What language would you like to use? English? Oh, yes. Uh, we need to be able to use the mouse inside of our virtual machine. So in case we want to go back and use mouse on our host machine, we will click right control as it's written here, or this symbol over here shows what's your hotkey. So yeah, capture. Continue. All right. We need to put up some pre-installation settings. Like date and time keyboard. Date and time, you should put where you are at now, currently or permanently. Done. Keyboard English. Language support English. Installation source, it's auto detected already. We did that at the beginning of creation of virtual machine. Done. Software selection. Mm, I will go with minimal install because everything we we can install afterwards, even the graphical user interface, we can do that in command line. 
So I will go with minimal install. And I would recommend you too, for the sake of exercising afterwards. Uh, installation destination. We'll go with automatic partitioning and all that. Done. Done. All right. Some sort of kernel. Network and hostname connected. Uh, we shall we shall turn on our internet if you have one. Done. So we can later update the operating system or whatever else you want to do. Security policy. Well, we will leave it like this, but in case you want to uh, secure it specifically, you can research that eventually. But let's go like this and begin installation. All right, root password. Let's set one, very important. Oops, I'm trying to be fast here. Hmm. Done. What? Are you kidding me? Sorry. User creation. Let's make me administrator. Password. Done. Now we wait. All right, complete. Now let's reboot. It will start up eventually automatically if you haven't clicked enter already. So let's log in. Password. Here we are. All right, now it will be good if you have internet so we can do one command that I suppose everyone will do when installing CentOS. And that is sudo yum update to update software packages. Password because of sudo. And there we are. Yes. Yes. And there it is. Now we have a fresh one. So that is it for now. See you next time. Cheers.